I think Tito's been in Miami for the past three years and just got caught up in the beach vibe and the beach life there and, you know, has gone down this artisanal, you know, uh, rabbit hole and, uh, and has just decided to let things go, you know. Uh, he downsized the jewelry, you know, it was the big chains before and sort of the, you know, that look and, and he's... I think gotten a bit more into being focused on his dream of, of realizing this, you know, this yogurt empire and, and being uh, some sort of a culinary genius in the frozen yogurt world. And so, I, you know, I think his sights are sort of narrowed on that. And in doing that, he's allowed himself to express his, you know, his artistic uh, spirit. You know, we've sort of been on this cycle for years with Dallas of, you know, look, these are the costumes, these are the routines, this is the show, I'm the leader, these are the songs we're going to play, they're the same old songs, we're going to play them my way, and you guys are going to be great, and people are going to stand up and clap at the end. And all of a sudden now, we come to this club, which is, you know, so far removed from what we know, um, so different from who any of the characters are, I mean, and, and, and we, we come to this place, and end up taking away from it the fact that, wow, we actually all have something unique to offer. Those three days of being up there with the girls in the crowd who were amazing. I mean, they just, they came, they were on their feet for hours and hours and hours, and they just brought so much energy to that room that, uh, you know, everything that that whole sequence will be in the movie, I mean, they, they deserve a lot of the credit for that because, they gave it to us. I mean, they really gave us what they had. They had a good time, helped us have a good time, and, and, and I think it, uh, it just elevated everybody's performance. There's nothing like being in front of a live crowd. You have these male strippers that people could assume are you know, chauvinistic or you know, see women a certain way, and um, you, know, you get a, a group of guys together and you put them in certain situations. It's very easy to sort of fall into things that, that, that might not stay on the vision the way that you know that you need to at all times when you're when you're walking that line and and Greg's sensibility about you know just what it is to be a good human being is so clear and so uh, it just permeates every single frame of the movie hey Valerie here so you think you know movies well did you know in Spider-Man 2 the number displayed for Joe's Pizza is real try it Two one two three six six one one eight two. Let me know how it goes. Next up, did you know that until X Men required it, neither Patrick Stewart nor Ian McKellen had ever played chess? <laughs> Download our Film Is Now app available for both Android and iOS.